One, two, three, four. If you got a little time and you want to waste some more, take a trip round the corner to the house of four doors. One takes you somewhere. somewhere and I had no idea where they were we were supposed to do a shoot uh, Phil had dropped a hint he told me that he was gonna be gone for a little while I didn't say how long I asked him to get specific and he didn't but he said not to use his car uh, he didn't say why uh, turns out that it was because it's past inspection fortunately I didn't get pulled over that would have been really bad but uh, we've so you know, me and Mookie headed out to find out where they were because as far as we knew, they were supposed to be at the shoot. So we're, like, freaking out. Maybe Phil froze to death outside or something. We didn't know where the hell Vint was. Worst thing was I had to go on Greg's list and find a cameraman. I mean, I went on Craigslist. I prefer Craigslist to Greg's list. But Craigslist, the response time isn't as good as with Greg's list. I mean, because let's be honest, the people on Greg's list are a little bit more desperate. So... I got the cameraman, and I, you know, I had to find a guy that had a camera that's similar to 
what I have, only it was blown out like the entire light on the exterior of the car. It didn't look that good. I did the best for, I could in post. but So I'm pretty pissed at Vin for not at least leaving the camera, taking the camera with him wherever the hell they went. I just, just didn't think it was a cool thing to do. So uh, I'm pretty upset at him right now. Well, you borrowed his car. He must know where he is, right? Actually, he didn't. He told me not to use it, but I figure he's missing, so it's like there's an exception, I guess. Uh, Where'd you get a key for it? Uh, I know where he keeps it. He thinks that he, he thinks he's hiding it, but I know I know where he hides it. So he's usually drunk when he hides it, so I can see where he puts it. I just pretend like I'm not watching. But this new camera guy. Uh... You know, I don't even know what his name is, but uh, he's a real jerk. Let me tell you that. I mean, he comes over the place looking for Phil or Oz or whatever, and I'm you know, passed out drunk on the couch. And he starts freaking going through my booze bottles, my beers, and taking my cigarettes. You know, I wake up, and I'm like, hey, man, what's going on with that? You know? And he's, he's oh, well, I thought these were, you know, for everybody. Well, you know, he could be, you know... Recycling? I don't know what the hell. Yeah, I don't know. He has lots of different what stuff. What the hell he does, he does you know? Doesn't know? he do his meetings on Mondays? I don't know. I think he does his meetings on Mondays. So um, he, might, he might be doing that. I'm not his mother. I don't look after him. Well. Well, my car it needs to be inspected. It's been, it's overdue a couple months, and I can't take the chance of, you know, getting a ticket and having to pay that. I just don't have the money for that right now. Uh, but. Vint and I ended up going out to my friends, the Fitzpatrick's Farm. Uh, I usually stay with them when I'm trying to sell my side venture thing that I do, which is uh, Phil's Phillies. It's a, it's a conservative, you know, it's, it's pornography, it's not really pornography. It's more soft than anything. It's just naked women in suggestive positions. Amish kids don't really get access to the internet or uh, anything like that, so for them that's like really risque and they'll actually pay pretty good money for my copies. Uh, so I was out there. I had to get a ride from a friend obviously because my car needs inspection but uh, I thought it was at the right farm. He dropped me off but it was the wrong place and I knocked on the door and they had no idea who I was. So then me and Vin had to just try to hitchhike out of there and it's out in the middle of nowhere. And it's just It turned into just this big harrowing thing and it you know, probably looked great on camera for Vin but it, for me it was you know a day I'll never forget for sure. All right, I got to tell you something, all right? Uh, you guys don't know about this, Vint? You don't know about it because I didn't tell you about uh, it? I don't know anything at all. Basically, what happened was I came up, I had written this idea out a few years ago. I It was a short film idea, and I wanted to shoot it, but I don't really have any actors that I know, so I asked Phil if he was interested in acting, and he said that's one of the things that he'd like to get into. So I asked him if he wanted to be the main character in my two-character play that I, that I wrote out, my screenplay. And he said he would. It's just a short little film. It's meant to signify many different things, but I don't want to tell you what it is until after you've seen it. Because I don't so you want me to film the TV as it's going? Yeah, and then I'll just cut, you know... It's probably not going to look that great. Well, I'm going to cut to an actual feed of the real thing and then cut back. So don't worry about that. Okay. Whatever you want to do. I mean, I'm just filming, so. All right. So keep filming then. So now I go to the TV? Yeah. Okay.
I, before I even get into that, I don't know what you were trying to convey. Like, good versus evil, man versus dog. No, like, no. Uh, Oliver Twist. No, the know. triumph. Oliver <laughs> Twisted. What, what kind you? of like the triumph of the spirit, but also like... How far one is willing to go in Could you have done it in a, more, in a more subtle context? I, I, I don't know. I like oh, to be... You've got, like, visions, like, a, 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 like a, imagine, like, a dog having a, a, a fever dream that has AIDS. Like, that's the kind of shit I would see behind it. And you think, you expect people to see that. I'm just talking to you, because I know you shot it, clearly. And we've yeah. had discussions, multiple discussions about filmmaking... And that really scares me that you think that that's good. It wasn't terrible. Like, I understand the parable you were trying to, to be derivative of, but, like, I don't understand at all why you would have chosen to have, like, dead dogs and, like, dogs that are, like, have cancer or well, whatever it's the... Like the extre- it's like the depths of the depravity that the dog is willing the to... Dog the dog going- isn't d- d- depravity... I think well, it's can... willing to play on such ter- terrible images. Well, I think I get it. Now. In order to how manipulate... is that bad for the, against the dog though? The dog's just hungry. Why are you showing? Because the... the the dog is putting those images in our head. So it, it's it's like a K-Pax thing or something like. It's telepathic. No, it's not. Te- well, I mean, it's telepathic in oh, that sense. The yeah. dog is telepathic. Yes. Yes. <laughs> well, in, in the, the story. So it is, is this yes. a humorous thing? He was laughing his fucking ass off. Yeah, I, I don't know what that was all about. I it wasn't happened to, to agree with him. I thought that was actually, parts of it were actually pretty horrifying. silly. Uh, were you intending for well, this? Part of it was funny. When she was staring at the camera. The, what, the, what was the music at the end? The fanfare. What's well, the... I mean, the dog was cute in the beginning, and the pictures were kind of. What's cute, with so... the fanfare at the end? Like, what is what is that? She got her accomplished her goal. That's your celebration, like fanfare. Why not like something uplifting? That wasn't uplifting. She that was ridiculous. Food. That was like a. Ah, I like it. It's, from it's like an the, SNL sketch or from something. From the Actraiser soundtrack. Yeah. The same act right. what? Act, right. yeah. act. It's a game. Sister Act. What'd yeah. you say? Sister. That's yeah, from Act Razor. That's a Super Nintendo game. Who the fuck is Act Razor? You know what Act Razor is. Who's Act Razor? It's a game. It's a game. It's a Nintendo game. Yeah. A Nintendo game. Well, I don't know who the. I don't know who the ja- most likely Japanese composer or, is who actually. We're, we're getting off topic. Music. My point is. You were just a little muddled in what you were trying to do. keep finding these posters all around town, missing dog posters, and the, and the dog looks just like Scrappy. And it even says the name is Hokies, which, I don't know, it doesn't seem like that's her, but even still, I don't want a dog that looks like a dog on a, a wanted poster riding around with me all the time. That doesn't look good, and, you know, I could get in trouble with the cops, and I don't want anything to do with that. So that's, uh, I've been tearing them all down. Every time I see one, I just rip them right down, because 
I can't have that. The thing's freaking off the charts, man. Holy crap. You got it set to like 80. <sighs> it's on it's on 90. Did you see that? So I can't stand this. Oh, it is so hot in here. Phil always will crank up the, the heat to like 95, and it ends up being like, you know, January outside and July in here, you know, and I, I can't do anything about it. I try turning it down, and like as, as soon as I turn it down, he turns it back up again. You know, I, I guess he's just used to, you know, Blasting the heater in his car all day. I mean, he's. I, I think he's cold blooded or something. I mean, he has to be. Uh, but God, is it hot? <sighs> what are you doing? Well. Yeah. Glad you're here, buddy. Oh hey. <laughs> Scrappy needs money. Does she need to go out or something? I don't care. I need money right now. Yeah, you didn't take her out. I don't care. Put some money in my hand. I just got this bill I don't have for freaking using power, and I don't have money to pay it. Whoa. How, how, when's the last time you paid? What? It's winter out here. It's getting cold. Got to use the freaking heat, man. Bills add up. Yeah, I don't, I don't have any money right now. Uh... <clears throat> Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I'm sorry, man. Well, we gotta do something to cut our freaking electric use in here, or what, or something. Well, it's We're using already... too much electric, too much gas. If we don't pay these bills, it's gonna get shut off. Well, we should have probably done this a few months ago. This, this is. Great. Yeah, no shit. But it's you know how I am, dude. Do you I have just... any money? I mean, this is. It's a little late for this. Why would I be asking you for money if I had money? I mean, I barely got enough to buy myself liquor right now. I feel bad. I, I've got that's that's like a a bare essential, you know. I don't need liquor to survive. That's a fact. I mean, yeah, you don't need it. But... I, I think we should start weatherizing this place. You know, cover the windows and the walls with like newspapers and blankets and pillows and shit. Grab shit. Help me out here, and we'll put this up against the wall. And that way it'll keep heating. You don't have furniture now because you're putting everything up on the wall. We'll, we'll, we won't be paying as much for heat. I think I'd rather have a place to sleep. What oh. do you suggest that we do, Phil? Uh, Mr. Smart Guy, Mr. Sustainability. Probably do some scrapping and try to pay the bill. I don't know. Because I, I think it's a little late for weatherizing. You can't do stuff like that or that. We're basically just here. I just gotta put up one more of these flyers. Can you hold this for a sec? I gotta get the tape. These are the flyers you've been putting up? Yeah, they're great, aren't they? I've been taking these down, man. It says Phil Mickelson on it. That's not you. You you can't take you can't put these things Dude, up man. into the freaking streets and oh. places. We had a conversation about this back at your place. You don't remember? Remember you gave the uh, the dog a sick paddock and you're, you're probably too fucking drunk. I, I would never give the dog that much alcohol. You did. That's a waste of alcohol. You did. You're going to see it. You're going to see it on in footage in the documentary. So. Well, I guess we don't have anything to do today. So. Well, you know, it's better off. Down, down, down all the way. I wouldn't have got up this morning. It's honestly. better off if you don't do it that way, bud. You know, Mookie thinks I don't really do anything. And maybe I haven't done a whole lot the past few weeks because... You know, you go from living in a car to having a nice big TV and video games and everything and, uh, you know, my food. I, th I think I'm kind of doing my best here, but I, I guess I could just uh, ramp things up a little bit more and, and show them how to make a little more money with scrapping and selling things on Craigslist, which is a local version, kind of. It's very similar to Craigslist, but it's actually a different thing that uh, a local guy I know came up with. It's, it's cool. You know, they they kind of sell more controversial type things. 
you know, I've actually sold a few copies of my magazine on there and other things. Things you don't find on, on Craigslist. You can usually find on Craigslist. And it might be a new thing that they do citywide. In each city that they have a Craigslist, there might start being a Craigslist as well. I hope that's where he's, he intends to go with it, but uh, he's not there yet. This is his, his, uh, his first one. But anyway, I'm going to do my best. I feel kind of bad that Mookie's bills are piling up, and I want to help him with that financially, so I'm going to have to start finding more things, like scrap metal and things I can sell, obviously. I've, I've amassed quite a collection here. I've got some things I can definitely sell, probably turn over really quickly, but uh, yeah, I'm trying. But, you know, sometimes I'll come up here and get a drink at the bars, and you know, I'll flirt with the girls and stuff. You know. You never know if it's really uh, if it's taken. If you buy them a couple of drinks, you know they'll smile at you and stuff. But I mean, that's about all I've ever seen to get. You know, I lean in and try to get a kiss once in a while, and that never works out. I just uh, enough about that. I'm not really gonna hear that too much. You guys don't want to hear that anyway. Oh. oh. Well, you know, I mean, uh, Phil, he's been uh, doing a lot better lately. Uh, he's actually been going out and getting scrap and uh, really trying to work hard, trying to, you know, do the sustainability thing, go to the meetings and stuff. And, you know, I mean, I don't feel so bad anymore about him living here because he's actually, you know, making something of himself. He's actually going out there and trying to work for a change, you know. But, you know, uh, so he's, he's been going, going through, actually going through dumpsters and he's been, you know, trying to haul scrap and doing a lot of cans and stuff, really, you know, helping us out, you know, helping me and I's out doing our thing. So that's definitely good. I'm definitely pretty happy with that. The only thing is I just wish he wouldn't freaking, you know, he, I just wish he would help me more with my rent. You know, I mean, he's he's doing all these things, but he's not really bringing in any money. That's the problem. I need money here. Oh, well, there's a bone yard. That's right here. Here it is. I see the future. Here it is. Pull in. Right here? Yep. Pull in. You think it's going to be dirty? There might be furniture out back here. Oh, there's going to be cans. <clears throat> Yeah, see, you were totally, totally right, Mosey. Yep, place. So, this is like probably 10, 10, 15 bucks worth of kids. Like I told you, the college kids, they just throw this shit out. See this? We went from like $1.50 to like 15 bucks. They just throw the stuff on the side of the road. We just come by, grab it. No problem, they don't even care. What the hell? There actually is scrap back. You guys see what ro somebody wrote on the window again. Huh? What? Somebody wrote on the window again. Oh, San that Sanders? Who, who keeps doing that? I don't, I don't get that. Maybe somebody like wants to vote for Bernie Sanders for president? I don't know. Barry Sanders, Deion Sanders. Uh, could, There's some scrap back here. There's a couch and shit. Are you the one writing Sanders on the back of You know what that name is? There's a bedroom back here. Oh my god. Oh, true. Pack of gum. Pack of gum, sweet. I'll take that. Alright, let's start making like garbage. But look at this scrap metal, man. Aluminum scrap. That, that actually goes for a pretty good amount. Alright, yeah, we're gonna tie that to the roof. Let's do it right now. Hey, what are you guys doing? Hey, uh, just a garbage man hauling out your garbage. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Haha, <laughs> score. This is probably like 10 bucks worth of metal right here. Alright, let's find out. Call the cops! Did you guys hear that? The guy that, yeah, he said he's gonna call the cops. It's up in that window up there. Throw it away. 
away. Heart full of turkeys and ham. Wow. Heart really? Full. Yeah, you know what they said, uh, they said, uh, their free, one of their freezers was, uh, off temp for, like, possibly 10 to 12 hours, so, hey, you know, their liability is my opportunity, that's how I see it, we're gonna sell these fuckers, 10 bucks each, you see the price tags on these, they're 30 bucks, some of them, 35 bucks, we sell them on Craigslist for 10, we make four or 500 bucks, just like that. Butterball, more like rolling ball. That's what it sounds like. Man, it's cold out here, isn't it? Man. Yeah, that's why these probably froze back up. It's, it's like 25 out there, 20. Hey, wind chill's probably 18. Yeah, I mean, I'm down with that. I'll eat them. I love turkey. Gonna have turkey skin sandwiches. Ham sandwiches, honey cured ham. Honey cured, huh? So yeah, ne next step would be to get some boxes. Like we don't really have any room for them now, but if they're broken down, we can. But then we have to tape them up, tape the bottoms of them up. <laughs> Look at that score, man! Look at that. Just keeping your eyes open. I mean, I just happened. What are the odds of that? You just you see a guy with a, a cart full of turkeys just throwing them in the dumpster. And ham too. Well, oh. man. Hey, yeah. so we should head out, and start driving. Yep. yep. I got to start figuring. Let's get out back. It's warm in this car. You don't want them to go back off temp again. You're right. Yeah, you're totally right. Let's go. You can really tell that Phil was in here cooking. I mean, look at this shit. He's lucky you gotta let him stay here. Wow. After the shit, he look what he did to your sink. See what I have to put up with ice? Oh wow, look at all this food. There's butter on the counter. Mm. So there's the there's all that Phil will let us eat. He wants to sell the rest. I don't know. I don't know who's gonna want to buy turkey and ham off Craigslist, but uh, Craigslist. Oh yeah, that's right, Craigslist. I think he made that up. I've never heard of that. I don't think he made it up too, but it is Phil, you never know. 